Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Thursday. It is daybreak. And you know what that means? It is time for food. Breakfast trips is what we're all about. So, of course, we begin with the healthy things. Of course, uh, we have our fruits, as you can see. Watermelon, pineapple. Uh, what some? Chef, please remind me that name. Tree, tree tomatoes. Tree tomatoes. Tree tomatoes. Right there. Woo, Do you tree see tomato. the tree tomatoes? Fantastic. Oh, that's my... Uh, <laughs> donut. <laughs> my donut. Yes, but have your healthy fruits, ladies and gentlemen. Then on this side, we have all these pastries. Pastries, yeah. Look at this bread. So today I'm being told we're eating bread. We're eating bread. We're eating bread today. I don't know why we're eating bread today. Why not fish? Why not? But then look at this. The donuts. Yeah, the donuts look beautiful. This is look good. At look at that. Look at that. They this is so gorgeous. delicious. I'm just going to touch it mm -hmm. and show you that. That ah. looks gorgeous. Uh -huh. Look at that. Amazing. So that's mm. a chocolate and white chocolate donut. It's just beautiful. You want to put it in your mouth. It tastes as good as it looks. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then we have all of this. Now, mm -hmm. let us get into to today. What yep. are we making today, Chef Ali? So we're going to make some omelets. So the thing is, like, you know, we're making a loaded uh, pan. I know mm -hmm. I'm very popular with my loaded pan. So what's ha going to happen is that we're just going to combine everything together. So today so, we're you making know, omelet. If you love your your mushrooms, if you love your eggs, if you love your sweet papers, if you, like your, if you love your beans, Beans, the backed beans. Let's do them. Let's mix them, gather them. Let's have a party. Mm, okay. Let's have a real is this breakfast. how you make your omelet at home? Yes. I'm going to show you how I make my omelet yeah, at home. Yeah, just put and then corrode. Yeah, and like in Devo, put everything together. Yours whatever you see, bushy. whatever you see in your pantry, whatever you see in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Let's mix them up, mix them, <gasps> gather them. When I say right. mix them, gather them. Are those mushrooms? Them. Yeah, we have mushrooms. Yeah, mushrooms. So let's just talk about the, the ingredients here. Let's just take a closer look at the ingredients yes, that we're going to use. Let's go through the ingredients. Um, and that way we'll just come and like you know mix everything together. So we have some sweet paper diced. You can see that sweet paper diced and then now when you move here you have some sausages that are grilled you can pan fry them it's fine and then now we have some spinach that's mm -hmm. already you know uh, kind of steamed a little bit and then now some onions and then when you move ahead we have some butter because butter just brings a beautiful flavor i'm waiting for you to get to my your, favorite yeah that's the thing and then garlic ginger paste and then cheese, cheese. yeah cheese. i was not gonna skip that mm. that is cheese fantastic <laughs> that could be cheddar cheese and then now we have some mushrooms that are finely diced and then of course some baked beans because you know we love that convenient food eh unanunua unafika pale nyumbani unaanza kuila tu hivo hivo kwa microwave mambo wamekwisha au vipi great so Mm -hmm. And then now we have some uh, cherry tomatoes. I know I've been asked this morning what these are. So it's nasima pengine nyanya mwitu. All right. And then uh, we have some eggs as well. And then we have Chef Masai here as well. I'll be with Chef Masai all the way from Gongil. It's good to see you, Chef Masai. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's get straight into this. Let's do this. So we have a pan. Already has some oil. Mm -hmm. So our sour, since it's going to be an omelette, so we want a little bit of uh, oil in there, so that's fine. Let's start breaking some eggs. So to funja my apa chef, I'll have to layer. So with my loaded omelette, I'm just going to add like, you know, a little bit of everything. Some sweet peppers in there. I'm going to go in with uh, some onions. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go in with some mushrooms. And then I'm going to go in with uh, lots of cheese. And then we're going to whip everything together, baby. We're going to use a fork to whip everything together. And yes, and a little bit of salt in there. You know, with the salt, you want to be a bit very little with the salt because, you know, you have some cheese in here. You don't want to do a lot. So that is good. Mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. Whip it, yep, whip it, whip it, whip it. Whip, whip, whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it. Yes, here you are. Looks good. Now, let's go throw it into the pan that is steamingly hot. Make sure to distribute the oils all over. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Did you put the cheese? Yep. Okay. So here's the thing. Put you've the put cheese. you've put the cheese, you've put the onions, mm -hmm. you've put the green pepper. Mm -hmm. You have not put the baked beans. So I want yes. to make sure our audience don't do the whole mashakura. Yeah, that's the thing. No, the baked beans I'm gonna cook them with the sausages. Okay. You know, we, we, we gotta do some uh, mix them, get them here. With at the end of the day, it's not a problem. You know, That's it's true. always fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I've never thought of putting uh, mushrooms in my omelet. I will oh confess God, so because I'm, I'm I'm concerned. First of all, how do you even cook mushrooms? How do I know which mushrooms to choose? When well, I'm mushrooms are very very simple to cook. One thing is that they they taste like liver, like liver. mini, you know. Mm. And then you know, it's like it's like a vegetarian kind of. Uh, Kitoeo, we're saying mm -hmm. Swahili. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they taste really good and so simple to cook. You just wanna, you just wanna saute. So, I'm just gonna fold this. Oh, look at that, look at that, look oh at that. I'm just gosh. gonna fold it a little bit. Yes. 
Yes. Because I want to create my space uh -huh. for my other part of the uh, loaded, loaded, loaded uh, breakfast. Mm -hmm. Here we are. So, I'm going to go even. We flip it the other way. So, chef, if you're going to take over here, I'm going to start slicing some. Um, um, Sausages. Sausages. Yep. So what are we going to do with the sausages? It. We're going to put them with We're the beans? We're going to cook them with the back beans, yeah. So I'm going to slice the sausages. I'm going to be very um, gentle when you slice the sausages. Mm -hmm. I can know. tell that the sausages mm -hmm. uh, are not how uh, Willis or Athena Trevor like them. They're very... They like them to be super brown. They're super brown. So that's the wrong way to make sausages. Really? Because you just want to fancy them. Remember, this is processed meat. It's almost cooked meat already. Mm. So you just want them to be like, you know, the way they are. Mm -hmm. A little bit, just a little bit of heat is good. Mm -hmm. You don't want to deep fry them. So deep fry like those ones? Yeah. Okay. Deep fry like a Yeah. You can deep fry it. You're brown. You know, that's the thing. You know, really? You, want it, you still want it to fry. be moist and nice, you know? You know what, Chef Ali, we should do? We should mm -hmm. one day have a class on how to then cook. I think sausages. so. I think so. It's very important. Yeah. Very important. You yeah. just need very little oil and then you just want to pencil them pole pole too. Okay. So uh, take a look at our omelette. It's already cooked on this end. So yeah. what we're going to do, we're just going to remove it and put it on the plate. So let's move this part that's already cooked. Do you make your omelette egg scrambled? Um, Not really because if it's scrambled, it's going to be scrambled. That means I need to put a bit of some or uh, some milk in there to make it scramble. Mm -hmm. So that is done. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. That we'll one is on the mine. Side. The smaller one is Trevor's. Uh, I want to put crusted with Zuri. You can get it as a quiet Trevor. You can get it as a quiet So we have our sliced uh, sausages. Sliced sausages already. So we're just going to throw them into the pan. So okay. we're going to use that pan, right? Yeah. So we're going to do a little bit of some oil. And then now we're going to go with our sausages in there. Fantastic. Oh. Great. I'm going to do a little bit of some garlic ginger paste in there. Butter. All right. Um, a little bit of some butter just to get a beautiful flavor. Are we putting cheese in there as well? No? We no? can if you want. <laughs> I don't mind. Uh. I would do it. Chef, Look at that. Do you think that Fantastic. Too much? Now some back beans in here. So we're gonna put ketchup in here, by the way. Okay. Make it even more fun. The, the, the no, the no, uh, cheese. You don't want cheese? No. Okay, great. Since we're putting ketchup. So this is ketchup, right? Yeah. Not tomato paste. No, Yo, chef, no, I wish I could like it to play hotel. Is it tomato paste? Palengongo. Ah, ah, me ketchup. So you just wanna add um some ketchup to give it a nice tint, Valendani. Mm -hmm. And then now we're gonna go in with some uh, lime juice. Mm -hmm. Ah, if I don't have lime juice at home? Oh uh, my God, you need I lime know. juice in your house. What is, what is the benefit of cooking with lime juice? Well, it just adds the, you know, the acidity into the food and make it more palatable. Mm. Like I wouldn't do anything without lime or pili pili. <laughs> you know me, that's the thing. Pili pili. Yeah, a little yeah. bit of pili pili there just makes makes life very easy. Okay. So we let this simmer. We let this simmer and then now we start making our brown garlic bread. Our brown garlic bread. Yes. Our brown garlic bread is what we're gonna eat our omelette with this morning. Yes. Okay. Alrighty. So here we are, Motom Dogum Dogo Pale. This is good. So pan on. Mm-hmm. Put this on the side. Can I use normal bread, Chef? I yeah, you can use do you want normal bread? Do you want normal bread? Do you wanna have it now? No. Okay, so let's make something a bit fancy. Uh -huh. We're gonna use this bread. Yeah, I want the fancy bread. Okay, this so it's a I long bread. Tomorrow. <laughs> and then now I'm gonna show you a very simple way of making garlic bread. Eh? Okay. So you wanna start with some garlic ginger. So if it's just garlic itself. Yes. So that the All bread will need to soak. Do is mash it when at home. Yeah, garlic. blend it. Blend, blend it. it in a food processor mm -hmm. until it's nice and uh, mixed well. Mm -hmm. And then now we just wanna do this. And then now on top you go with a layer of butter. So your bread will have soaked all the beautiful flavors from the garlic ginger. Sour. So I'm just do this and I'm just gonna go here and I'm gonna spread. So the bread would have soaked all the flavors from the garlic ginger. And then now your bread is nice and fully coated. Look at that. That's beautiful. And then now you just want to come and turn it on top of your pan. And you added a bit of oil. A little bit of just olive oil on the pan. Bit. So you know it just doesn't, doesn't it gives a nice crispiness yeah. on the on the bread as well. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm going to do another I've one. I've noticed you've done one side of the sliced bread. Yes. Not uh, both sides. sides because one side came a bit thinner so mm. I'm just going to do this. Oh. Yeah. If it was even If it was even as well, it And this is good the way it is as well. So this is basically just put on a whole bread and then just put it there. And then keep tilting it. You want to turn this? Not this one. Yep. Good. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. And it's a healthy bread because it is brown bread. But that's the thing, chef. Is it not? That's just not color. Nowadays, you can't trust this brown bread. That's the thing. But then this, you can see the grains. That's the thing. You can mm. see the little little grains in there. So it's not basically. If it's a colored bread, you'll definitely see. You won't see these whole grains. Mm -hmm. But then when you look at it, mm -hmm. you actually see the whole grains. So mm -hmm. it looks legit. It does. It looks legit. So turn is there it. a way of knowing? Like um, if you're yes. shopping, that's the thing. Just you, looking at the grains. You want to look at the grains. Utaziona Yeah. Those are whole grains, yeah. which basically, you know, uh, that's what you're looking for. So at the end of the day, that is it. That's good. Bread is done. Let's remove the bread. Let's make sausages now again. I'm going to teach you how to make sausages at sausages. home. Sausages. A little bit of oil. A little bit of oil. And then now we have sausages. And then now I'm going to show you a way that you won't have to deep fry your sausages at home. I feel like this is the class we were waiting for. Yeah, this is the class we were waiting for. End of the day. So just throw in the sausages. You see how first it turns color. And I've noticed you haven't like soaked no. your pan in the No, oil. no. Why do you need to do that? Because all you want is the heat. You see that? You see that? All you want is the heat to like, you know, just come on top of the old sausages. Yeah. And when the pan is hot, it's good. It will cook towards the inside. Pole pole to keep on turning them. That's the sausages that are here? Yep. Okay. That's it. So you just want to keep on turning, turning, turning. That's beautiful. Fantastic. Ensure that your sausages are cooked evenly on all Side. angles. I'm on all sides, eh? Simona, faster, faster. Mm -hmm. So you defer frying sausages for five minutes. Mm -hmm. um, and then you end up eating fiber. There is a health benefit. Like in a chef, because I'm a kweli. Yeah. Inside, is it cooked? I so the thing is, this is processed meat, you know, at the end of the day. So yeah. it's already, like if you're smoking, if you're smoking, 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 you're Uatoka fry vipi unaivisha nje tu ndani ni ngumu sana sausage kuiva because it's already pre cooked so can i poke holes i've seen people poke holes when they're cooking there <laughs> well their not to sausages. me it doesn't make sense no. the oil to me the oil it doesn't to enter inside why that's the thing because you know you just want the coating you brunch them fast okay yeah if if you're really worried you can brunch blanch them yeah i blanch them yeah petisha kwa maji moto I love to the leku fry, pan fry. Come on, go pan fry. So look at this, the pan is super hot. Like three to four minutes? Yeah, three to four minutes. Three to four minutes, you're good. I will try that one. Three to four minutes, you're good. Those sausages actually look good. And they're cooked. So it's like grilling. You know, when the pan is super hot, this means it's not just going to cook outside. It's probably going to cook every little thing. So is that the trick? You don't yeah. just put oil and then throw in your, your sausage. You let the pan heat up. Let is the pan the heat trick? up a little bit. Let the pan heat up a little bit. And then, you know, just switch off the, the pan and start turning and tossing. Okay. There you are. Ha -ha. So, we want to assemble here. Mm -hmm. So, what's going to happen is that so um, since it's loaded, we're supposed to be loaded on a pan. So, we're just going to do loaded on a plate. Mm -hmm. So, here we are. We have uh, garlic bread. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my cooked uh, back beans with the sausages and I'm just gonna go on top of the garlic bread. This is the brown garlic bread. So it's like you're having a, um, a breakfast uh, loaded, but it's like, um, you know, I'm a record, I say my chili dog. Yeah. I said to say my break, breakfast dog. <laughs> my right? <bird> dogs. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. And then, what you wanna do now, you wanna take your egg. Sasa hapa tuna aina nyingi ya mayai. Watu tuchukue you know slice it a little bit. You know you want your plate to look fancy. So here we are, place it on top. You know you want to eat things that look beautiful. Sindo zinzi. So you know just present it a little bit and then now take the the spinach that has been, you know, steamed a little bit and just put it on the side. Put it on the side. And then now some fresh cherry tomatoes to get a nice uh, color on top. Slice it and just put it on top here. And a pinch of salt, mm. if you wish. Mm. Just a pinch of salt on the tomato, on the tomato, and a little bit on the spinach. And then 
you have your meal on a plate. My gosh. So what do you call that, Chef Ali? I, I would call this a loaded, it's a loaded breakfast at the end of the day. So because we have a loaded omelette and then now we have uh, some baked beans cooked with some yumminess in there. And then now we have some sausages and have some spinach just to get a nice uh, green on the side. And then at the end of the day, you know, just want to make it delicious. So it's all about playing with your eggs mm, yes. in the kitchen for breakfast and make a delicious meal. This is a different way of me making my omelette. Mm -hmm. I've never thought of making omelette this way. Mm -hmm. So especially like with the baked beans mm -hmm. and the sausages. I don't know how I feel about that combo. We'll test it today and find out. <laughs> okay. Right, Chef Masai? Yep. Okay. So, um, have we missed, are we making a milkshake today? Yeah, we're going to make a drink. Do you know what I saw today on TV, Chef? Mm -hmm. what, what did you see? Doing the news. What did you see? So Chef Masai, CNN was saying, mm -hmm. how at tea, when you're thirsty, mm -hmm. You know what do you do? You drink water. It's the first thing. Yeah. You know, growing up, you're told, have your eight glasses of water. Yeah. Uh, apparently, so there was a study that was done, mm -hmm. and CNN reported this story mm -hmm. of how um, it's water is not what you should be drinking if you're thirsty. Because apparently, what should you drink? La water is light, so it, uh, it's absorbed into your bloodstream faster. Okay. So they're saying you should drink more of sugary things or fatty uh, beverages, and they give a list like of things of Coca-Cola uh, and, and, and other things, you know? I would do uh, well Right? There. I will I send you well. that article. I would I do like, well because what? I love that sugar. Now you see, <laughs> so apparently because it's a bit heavy yeah, and thick. Oh, okay, look who's good. How are you? You well? Yeah, don't mind How's it going? Me, don't good, good, good. No, no, don't worry. Don't worry. Karim, welcome yeah, to the kitchen. Right. Welcome right. to the it's kitchen. Is okay. Yeah. Great. So the one, the one that is less is yours. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I know you. I know you're waiting for a fight. I will. Not. <laughs> I will let you have it. You're ready for the fight, right? Yeah. You're ready for the fight. I will send you that article. I was telling Please you about do. the yeah. CNN article about yeah. water. Well, that sounds a bit weird, but then yeah, I would love to read it. I know. Let's see, you know. Crazy. So, so are we making a milkshake today? We're gonna make a shake out of bananas and drinking chocolate. We have that, right? Drinking chocolate. Oh yep. Okay. So just like normally drinking chocolate you, doesn't no, matter what brand. No, wait for the Yes. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. We're just making a shake. We're making a drink. Make the so shake. So we're gonna use the bananas. Chef Ali, make the shake with Chef Ali. Yeah. You're the one who knows how to dance to this music. <laughs> Have you ever made a milkshake before, Trevor? <laughs> so, about to find out. Great. So we have some bananas, and these bananas, bananas are super tiny. We, um, yeah, they're super tiny. So I'll probably need like ten. So if you want to get your hands dirty, please Let's go ahead. It. Go ahead. It's just bananas. It's fine. At the end of the day, you know. Yeah, just peel it. It's fine. And uh, we're gonna go in with some milk in there. So probably ten little bananas. And then, uh, yep. Okay. And then we're going to go in with the milk. Uh, the more icy your milk is, the better. So ice cold milk or donge la barafu la maziwa ni sawa. Donge la barafu. Donge, yeah. And then this shake would, wouldn't be super sweet because, you know, you're not adding any extra sweetness apart from the drinking chocolate. And then, you know, because the drinking chocolate has a little bit of uh, sugar in there. Yeah. And then, of course, the bananas has natural sugar. So, you know, it's all good. Any reason why you have to use this particular banana? Ah, uh, no, it doesn't really matter. Any bananas you can use, it's fine, you know. You want to talk to me again, Trevor? Ah, we, unachoma. Any bananas is good. It doesn't really matter. So, yeah, I'm just going to put the final one. And then we're going to give it a blend. Some extra milk, yep. Okay. Some extra milk in there. Fantastic. And now let's give it a blend. <laughs> Great. <laughs> All right. Where's Zinzi to dance to this? Yep. So we normally do a simple song. Yeah, so come. So do we have power in here? Come, so come, come, thing, come, come, come. Just... Let's do the song. You wanna dance? No, no. She's gonna do the song. <laughs> hey. No? Blend the song. Okay, I think we're good. So we have a healthy drink. So, so you want to sing? I'm, I'm I once heard you music. saying that mm. I'm not supposed to have the blender on consistently for what, 10 That's minutes? That's the thing, because you are going to spoil the blender. This, mm. These things, gadgets, like spoil so easily. Yeah. And the reason we buy blenders every month at home is because, you know, you keep on blending for like 10 minutes and you mm. spoil it. So three minutes is good. Two minutes is good. Or one minute is good at the end of the day. Zinzi, una smile. So you know how to pour this, man, because our blender has been operated. So <laughs> uh, great. So here we are. We have a healthy drink because at the end of the day, you just have a little bit of some chocolate in there. Of course, yeah. probably a little bit more chocolate, which is good because I love this color. And then now we have bananas and then we have milk. And then, you know, it's just super delicious. You can pair it with some fruit platter. So we're probably going to make a fruit platter so that when we have our buffet, we have a drink 
fruit platter and i know zinzi loves today platter. we are going to eat Ovi, fruit platter tutengeze fruit platter sasa hivi ni nini ndio hizi matunda tuloko hapa tunazipanga kwa sahani zinakuwa fruit platter si ndio So here we are chef we need a plate and let's make that fruit platter. You know the one thing then, I'd like to see you do is to see you cooking because the last time you were teasing me about it. <laughs> Did you there's something chef asked me to do the yes. whole light. Oh the the the, the, the um, uh, flambe? Flambe. Flambe thing let's arrange some plates some um, yeah. fruits. I can do a flambe yeah. Trevor. Yeah. I can a do platter. a proper flambe. In fact, how many times have I been here cooking with Chef Ali mm-hmm. while you Higgs and 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 and, and wait to eat. And will is just wait to eat. I'm done is always cooking. It's 2019. Do better. Oh, baby. Fake news. You cannot do a flambe this I know for sure. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. Are we are we making No, we're not making anything. No, no, no. We're basically just arranging some fruits. It's like we're making a fruit platter. So here we are. Fantastic. So we have some popo, we have some uh, pineapple, and then we're going to do some honey melon. So I'm just going to yes. pick these from here and then we're just going to arrange them. As you arrange that, Trevor, you should try the donut. Donut is okay. super good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't trust you. <laughs> well. And then some tomato. I, I, I trust you. Probably a piece you of the tomato. You don't do sure. <laughs> Why the donut? No, is that a favorite? No, but it's delicious. What is it? <laughs> is it about the chocolate? Yes. Zizi. Of course it's the chocolate. You see? I can see right through you. Zinzi, you'll say that you can eat it right away. So you want to pick a slice of the bread as well? Yeah. Yeah. Great. You go and eat. Mm. Look at that. That is so beautiful. It's Fantastic. so healthy. Very simple. Yes. Super healthy. Yeah. There's just fruits. You can have this as a meal on its own. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, you know, we're good. So Trevor we're takes good. the fruits. I take the sausage in the omelet. It's a no <laughs> from me. You had the pass. You take the fruits. <laughs> Let's head off. Oh, can I get my slice Yeah, get a slice of bread. Yeah. Get a slice. I'm going to give you a plate. <laughs> and I see your strategy here. Today you made sure I hold the microphone, yeah? So, so that you have all your hand bread <laughs> and then you have that as well. Okay, that's for you. And I'm going to take some shake. This is a super dark chocolate banana shake. That is amazing. Look at that guys. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. It's super healthy, very simple to make. Just bananas drinking chocolate and milk and Cheers. Let's do this. Let's go eat. Brilliant. So where <laughs> do we start? Oh Let's my go. goodness. Here we are, man. Here we are. So we have this was the loaded breakfast. <clears throat> awesome. Yep. Cool beans, cool beans. Yep. And then now we have uh what are the chocolate And then now we have that omelet and then now we have uh uh the baked beans. Is him cut by the one za kuzileta hapa hivi. Si ndio? Ni sawa tu. Yeah, then we will. Alafu ndio hii tukuleta pale. Maki ulipenda hii plate by the way. Yes, yes, that's the thing. And then now um, And then now some forks on spoons or probably just forks and then now some uh, <laughs> This is so much sizes. food. Are we going to finish this? Today's food is so I've never You know it's very Wait simple up. because then we cook this food in less than 10 minutes and we are done because it's super simple to cook this kind of dishes. Mm-hmm. And then again um we're going to eat it. Takula tu. All of it. Yote. Yote. A producer Winnie Muriyoki probably mm. wants to come. Winnie Muriyoki. Akaribi, akaribi tu. Eh Sheshimo. Hakuna shida. Ako? Ako tu hapo hivi. Oh Sheshi ati. Nule. Nili mona nili mona kwa Telemundo. Eh, nili mona kwa Telemundo. Kwa Telemundo. Mm. Please throw this right there. Mm. Thank okay. you. Mm-hmm. You guys, you want to taste this back bean. You want to say taste it? Like the tanginess? Okay, 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 okay. Do, do you like lime? Thank you lime. Oh, thank you very much. I'll hold it for you. Chef, I, I know you want to experience the whole thing. Nikata. Nikata kutoka. Tu vizuri. Acha niweke microphone hapo kwa kuku. Kato karatasi. We'll talk. We'll address the video. Mshoe kona chef akijibamba mwenyewe. Iko tu sawa hapa kwa kuku. Wait, I yeah, feel yeah. like I feel like Steve does this on purpose giving us a a nah, handheld microphone. I know, right? Our technical team purposely oh, yeah. does this giving us a handheld mic. Mm. Chef, you really started. So, mm. only Chef Ali will be speaking from now and for what I need a microphone. Up. That's why I'm going I'm going I'm going I'm going to say what you guys feel. Okay. Yes. If you love your tanginess, your lime, you want to dig in here or you want to dig in here mm-hmm. because this is just super limey yes. and beautiful. Yes. I'll put this away a little bit. Should I give you my microphone? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just got to have my food in peace. <laughs> what is it? Ibra is so Trevor hiding the microphone. We need to take a quick commercial break. We want to taste this. When we come back from this commercial break, we'll let you know how this is tasting mm-hmm. and uh, we'll get a few more tips from Chef Ali. Yeah. So right now, see you on the other side. Eating tips. Mm-hmm.